CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 81 through 85. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 81. A small business is looking to improve its logical security measures by introducing multi-factor authentication for its employees. The business aims to do this with minimal additional cost. Which solution would best fulfill this requirement? The answer is, B. Software tokens. Software tokens are software-based authentication methods that can be easily installed on employees' existing devices, such as smartphones or computers, often through an application. This approach leverages devices that employees already own, eliminating the need to spend on additional hardware. Software tokens provide a secure and cost-effective way to implement multi-factor authentication by generating time-based one-time passwords or push notifications for authentication. Question 82. An IT technician finds that a computer's hard disk drive has failed in an employee's workstation. With regards to asset management, what should be the technician's logical next step? The answer is, B. Verify the warranty status with the vendor. When a hardware component fails, determining if it is still under warranty can save the company money and ensure the replacement process is handled by the vendor. If the drive is under warranty, the vendor will provide a replacement. If not, the technician can then consider alternative options. Question 83. A graphic designer in an office has connected a second monitor to their computer and wants to extend their workspace across both screens for better multitasking. Where in the Windows settings should they go to set up this dual display configuration? The answer is A. System. To set up a dual display configuration in Windows, the graphic designer should access Windows settings then select System, followed by Display. From here, they can detect additional displays, choose to mirror or extend the desktop across multiple screens, and adjust settings like resolution and orientation. Question 84. A user has just installed a new internal SSD into their desktop computer to expand storage capacity. However, upon booting up the system, they notice that the SSD isn't recognized by the operating system. Which of the following Windows tools can the user employ to initialize and format the newly installed SSD? The answer is A. Disk Management. Disk Management, a built-in Windows utility, is designed to manage disk drives and partitions. When a new storage device, such as an SSD, isn't recognized by the system, it often needs initialization and formatting before it can be used. Disk management provides the necessary features to perform these drive-related tasks and more. Question 85. A user aims to enhance the functionality of their Linux desktop by installing a new software package. Which command should they use for this task? The answer is D. Yum. Yellow Dog Updater Modified, or YUM, for short, is a command line package management utility used in Red Hat based Linux distributions. It is used to install, update, and manage software packages on the system. When a user wants to add new functionality to their Linux desktop by installing a new software package, they would typically use the YUM command. They can do this by running the command YUM install package name, where package name is the name of the software package they wish to install. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.